is hey guys <laughs> and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm finally well i asked you guys a couple weeks ago what you guys want to see more of and pretty much everyone said they wanted to see more of my mom so she's gonna thank be, you <laughs> she's gonna be filming a mukbang with me today um and which doing, i have no experience with so. yeah so go easy on her <laughs> and obviously it's valentine's themed as you can tell with the, it's not Valentine's today, it's the day after. But yesterday I went and got donuts from Krispy Kreme because they don't have, they don't sell Valentine's donuts the day after. And then and she made me this beautiful pizza with heart-shaped heart pepperoni. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why we haven't been able to do like any candy taste testing is because she follows the low FODMAP diet, which is basically just like a... It's mostly just um, meat and vegetables. Um, because of food allergies. So there's a lot of restrictions too, but this is fine. Yeah, so, so like I had to make the, for example, I had to make the pasta or the pizza sauce because most pizza sauces have garlic and she can't have garlic. Right. So it's just like a lot of random stuff. You can't have apples, right, either? Right. Yeah, no, just like apples, random no stuff. No mushrooms. It's kind of, yeah. Yeah. Only certain foods. But she can have this pizza. Yep. So, oh yeah, we're also going to be talking about um, my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I literally might have to leave the room. No. Like I will be, I'll be turning red. Like I can feel myself getting embarrassed now because there's this note that she wants to read that I haven't well, even you read can yet. Read it. Yeah, I have several notes that Megan wrote growing up, and some of them are just like Not, beyond was... hilarious. You can tell from the handwriting about the age. Yeah, how old okay. was I? When did you fa how, you found this when you were like cleaning or something? Yeah, she found all these notes. Yeah, cause, well, because you know I moved out. And mm -hmm. so I was packing up my things and I had these in a drawer. And so I brought them to Megan's attention. <laughs> and this one happens to say, Dear Diary, I just hear uh, the other day that Chase, the hottest boy you will ever ah! meet, has a crush on me. <laughs> I'm not sure if it is true, but I will find out soon. Details in parentheses. He said Sarah to me, just the just a day after, okay. So Chase, whoever he is, is the hottest know, boy. No, 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 no. The funny thing is, I know who Chase is. Oh, you know Chase oh, Middleton? Oh, no, 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 yes. So what this, grade do you think? What grade? Um, if it was Chase Middleton, it would have had to be like third grade, second grade, <laughs> right? Probably second grade from the handwriting. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. He was into boys then. <laughs> I like how I said, um, <laughs> I know he likes me, like, no, he didn't. Yeah. Like, like, there's no way he liked me. I'm just saying right now. I don't think we ever talked. <laughs> he did not like me. <laughs> like, we never spoke. <laughs> but, oh my god, the funny, <laughs> it's actually funny, because... I remember I was, I, you know those stupid Valentine's dance we had in elementary school? Yeah, yeah. I used to want him to ask me that. Oh. No one ever asked me. Did anybody really ask anybody? Mm-hmm. Also, you have that picture I wanted to share with everyone. Oh, yeah. Megan, before mukbangs were ever even started, Megan started one in our kitchen. So she'll put this picture up later. I don't know if you could see it. Yeah. But I had made grilled spare ribs, and I set them on the counter. And we were waiting to get everybody, everything else ready for dinner. Uh -huh. And I see this little hand reach up on the counter. She's sitting on the kitchen floor, <laughs> reaching up and eating spare ribs. And that's her cute little face with barbecue sauce all over it. She'll I was like hiding it. behind the counter because yeah. I knew I was supposed to wait for dinner. But I, I was, <laughs> girl was hungry. Yeah, I guess so. And so I was like hiding and eating. As if no one was going to notice, like half the thing of yeah, ribs half was of gone. Yeah, half the thing was gone. Literally <laughs> half the thing was gone. So there's that. Well, um, <laughs> I've always loved food. You know, mm -hmm. we hadn't noticed that. Um, this was your dream come true when mukbangs were invented, huh? I knew I had my calling. Because <laughs> I remember when, in preschool once, um, uh -huh. you had to, like, we were doing uh, arts and crafts or something. We had snacks out on the counter. It was snacks for everyone, but, like, when I was around, like, no, it was the only <laughs> snacks for me. Maybe. <laughs> and so mom had to come over and be like, she, you whispered in my ear, you were like, Megan, it's a snack, not dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? That's so funny. I really like the little mini Oreos. <laughs> so I'm just going to town. So she was two then. Uh -huh. And then probably about six months when she 
was first starting to eat, you know, she was in our little high chair next to Sarah. And um, I was heating up, you know, Gerber baby food or whatever it was that, you know, they were eating at the time. And her dad was walking around, you know, help, he was going to help me feed them. Mm -hmm. And so he was walking around eating salsa and chips. And Megan leaned forward as far as she could in her high chair and was like, ah, la, 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 like she wanted some wanted salsa. salsa and chips. Really? <laughs> yeah. And I was how old? Uh, eight months old. Really? Six, eight months, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So she's always been interested in eating. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'll get out another letter. If that's okay. Did he give me the salsa? Mm mm. Yeah. Or maybe just a little tiny taste of that many already. I got 12. Yeah, it's a mukbang. Okay, you better get working. Maybe you Mom said, no, 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 you can just chat and I'll just eat. Maybe. That's fine with me. <laughs> That's a pizza. Do you want me to read another letter? How old do you think you were? I don't even know. Well, she was old enough to type. Mm -hmm. um, but she writes this letter. That says it's a story. Yeah. A story. That's right. It's a story. It's so bad. Megan wanted it's to like... be an author. It says Dallas loved Jake, but then again, who didn't? <laughs> With his dark brown, almost black hair and mesmerizing green eyes. <laughs> One fleeting glance, and you would never be able to look away again. <laughs> He had it all. Money, clothes, and <laughs> money, clothes, and books. Books. That's what it says. No! No! It's a, that's important. Books, looks, you name it. He even had a true love himself. <laughs> you see, Jake was extremely extremely conceited and thought way more of himself than any mortal should. <laughs> His ghosts, they're allowed to have high opinions, but mortals, no. <laughs> he could even have Dallas, who is quite possibly the most beautiful girl in the world, but his sanders were set too high for even her to reach. Dallas was rich, gorgeous, and literally could have any guy she wanted. That is, every boy but the one she coveted. The most wanted Jake. I said Jake. coveted? How coveted. old was I? I don't know. The most wanted Jake. Everyone loved her. Everyone but Marie. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it was Marie. <laughs> Dallas Jerome. was everything Marie wasn't, and every time Marie looked at Dallas, she was overcome with jealousy. She thought that maybe, just maybe, if she looked half as good <laughs> as Dallas did, that she could capture the heart of Jake. Finally, after years of secretly hating Dallas, Marie concocted a plan. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> During lunch, while Dallas was, would be chatting with her friends, Marie would sneak a potion into Dallas's milk to prevent Dallas from speaking to Jake. The more she thought about it, the better the idea sounded. A few days later, the plan was set and there was no going back. Marie slipped past Dallas's table and plop. The potion was safely into the milk. Over the next few days, Marie gleefully watched Dallas attempt to flirt with Jake with no words coming out. What? <laughs> what? So oh, the potion made her not I be able to talk. Just to him. Oh my God. Just to him. Over and over again, she tried, but each time Jake got more and more angry. Talk to me, you <laughs> foolish girl. I know I'm extremely handsome and beautiful, but surely you could say something instead of just standing there with your mouth hanging open like you're trying to catch flies. <laughs> Jake spat with disgust. Oh my god! Da Dallas, overcome with humility and shame, scattered out of the room with tears in her eyes. Confused and hurt, she didn't come to school the next few days or weeks or months. <laughs> she, she dropped she, out. <laughs> she didn't graduate fourth grade, apparently. Finally, one of her best friends decided to head over to Dallas's house to see if she could help her with recovery. <coughs> what she found was terrible. Dallas had killed herself. Wow. What? Did you not read this whole story? No. Well, I must have read it when you morbid. Wrote it. Oh my god. When Marie heard the news, she couldn't believe her luck. <laughs> <laughs> Marie's fucking crazy. 
It's horrifying. I hate this Blumson in my mind. I gotta want to know this. <laughs> Finally, exclamation point. Her mortal, uh, mortal enemy was gone, exclamation point. When Jake heard the news, he knew she killed himself because of him. Herself because of him. A feeling of lust burned the back of his throat? <laughs> Why? He didn't love her. He only loved himself. But nevertheless, as the day stretched on, Jake became thinner, more gaunt. His eyes became a yellowish hue, and his hair started to slowly disappear. I think you have Beauty and the Beast kind of mixed in here. Like what? Every time he looked in the mirror, he became more and more disgusted with himself. How could he have let her go? How hadn't he seen the love they could have had? He was the foolish one, the only thing he ever wanted, and he, and he took her away. He couldn't live with himself any more longer. The next day, Marie found Jake dead and alone in his cold and unwelcoming bathtub. I don't even know. That's like traumatizing. Why was I writing about that? In my third grade. I don't know. My favorite, I like the this pink one. I think it's strawberries and cream. The best so far. This one, these two are okay. Like well, I already ate one. I'll show you when I eat, when I eat it next. Oh, that one's not. Okay. Yeah, it's not eaten yet. And the other apple fritter, which hopefully is good. Because you know how I love apple fritters. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where this. Like I'm just like feasting on donuts and I'm reading. I'm just like making fun of me. <laughs> okay. This one I don't know. I could probably maybe psychic it great because the spelling is horrifying. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see her writing here. My dad sees that I have boys that like me. Well, I, I do, but he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> Know that all tell you. I'll tell you more. Oh, you wrote all instead of all. <laughs> all tell you more later. <laughs> well, it seems that and seems as S E M S <laughs> that I'm getting prettier, <laughs> and he still does it. <laughs> I'm getting prettier. No, I wasn't. <laughs> it's the picture with the, with the ribs. <laughs> oh man! It's like that one clip. So, for. When, what what celebration was that where we got you the DVDs? My birthday. Yeah. For our birthday, we got these like old home videos turned into DVDs so that she could watch like our old home videos. And there's this one where I like took the camera and I can actually probably insert the clip of it. You should probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, first of all, the old home videos I was like so bossy in. Like I was just like so like... I used to t I used to tell my mom she had a big butt, but I wasn't like saying it in a nice way. Like I was like, yeah, your butt is huge. Yeah, like for no reason. You're making fun. Yeah, I don't know. Like I I was just like being a brat basically. And then I took the camera, and I was like alone in the bathroom or something, and I was like, yep, I'm still beautiful. Looking beautiful as all. Gonna know. All right, I'm gonna read one more. <laughs> About, I don't know, it's tall handwriting, so probably maybe second grade again? Yeah. Dear Diary, my grandmother has a compass and I used it as a boy crush compass and it landed at Alex's house. Stop. Everybody knew about that you had Stop. an eye for Alex. I didn't know about Chase. I knew, but Alex. I actually used to pretend that I hated Chase. I'm sure you thought I didn't like him. Mm -hmm. That was not the truth. <laughs> yeah, and then Alex, he was the one that lived like down the street or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Wonder where they are now. Yeah, me too. We should look them up on Facebook mm -hmm. later. <laughs> so I think that's all. This is decent, but it's kind of chewy. I like when apple fritters are like crunchy, so. Really? It's 
It has like a good amount of glaze on it, but it's kind of chewy. Yeah. Oh. Funny story, actually not even funny story, but when I got these donuts, this was yesterday, and I was in such a frazzled state in the morning. I was just not having a good morning. And I usually never forget my wallet because pretty much when I leave anywhere, I, ha I take my gym bag with me because usually I'll head to the gym later, like after I'm done running errands. And so my wallet's like always in my gym bag. And for some reason it wasn't when I went to Krispy Kreme. Like the one time that I actually like buy fast food or food or anything like that, I'm in line, I don't have my wallet, and there's someone behind me. Mm. And... I'm like super stressed out and obviously frazzled when I pull up to the window and I think the girl felt bad for me because she was like, oh, I don't care. You can like just have them for free. Because at first I was like, if I come back, can you guys like set those aside? Because they were already running low on the Valentine's. So I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to get any Valentine's donuts. Like, what am I going to do? And I was like, can I come back in like 20 minutes? Like, I promise I'll come back. And she's like, I don't even care. You can just have them for free. Aw, mm -hmm. that's nice. And I was like, thanks that's for really making nice. my morning. Shout like, I was out like, to her. I know. It'd be cool if she like watched this video or something. Yeah, no kidding. Comment if you too. Mm. This is like a mint. Mint, a mint donut. How mint it? frosting maybe, or maybe not. Maybe I'm just like seeing green and thinking, green? yeah. It's like chocolate filling. It's pretty good too. You like it? Uh huh. Is it really mint though? No. Okay. I was making it. He was it dreaming up. it up. Mm -hmm. So. Where's my phone, by the way? I don't so know I where Megan got her jeans from eating and keeping her lipstick on, but clearly um, she didn't get them from me. Oh, is it already up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the funny thing, too, is so we actually made two of these pizzas. Um, so I was doing my mom's makeup earlier for the video. Do you guys like it? Let me I know. I like it. I think I'm a makeup artist. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I was doing her makeup for the video and. I wanted to make two because I wanted to see what one would turn out better to, to film with and I forgot to set a timer in my phone for when I should take the pizza out of the oven and like 30-40 minutes later my mom's like, <laughs> did you put the second pizza in? And I literally like sprint out of the room. It's like pretty crusty. We we still cut it up. It actually doesn't look horrible. It's not but terrible. It's definitely a little bit crusty. So This is delicious though. It's nice it? job on the sauce. You have to put the recipe up. Yeah, if you guys are low FODMAP, I'll put the recipe mm -hmm. in the description of how I made the sauce and stuff. Um, but I also asked you guys on the YouTube community tab to ask questions because I figure you guys love my mom so much you probably want to play. <sighs> well, you guys do. Thanks. I mean, they do. Um, but you guys might want to ask her questions, so I figure you can just read through them and if they're directed at both of us, we can both answer, and if or just pick whatever you want to answer, and then um, if it's just directed at you, you can just answer. How does your mom feel about your YouTube channel? Does she watch all of your videos? Um, you know, at first, I wasn't really... I didn't get it. Yeah. Honestly. I Which just, makes sense. I mean, if I feel like most people don't get it. Yeah, I didn't understand it, but I did watch, and I do... I did... I do watch all of them. Mm -hmm. Every one she puts out. I might not watch the whole thing, mm -hmm. but I do watch all of them. So. And she'll always comment too, which is so cute. She doesn't comment, she'll comment an emoji, like a heart or something. So if you ever see Trish M commenting, and there's a heart, that's her. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is me. Mm -hmm. How does your mom feel now that she left a toxic relationship? That's a good um, question. How do you feel? You know, I feel fine. I feel, you know, sad. Physically, I actually am feeling better as well. Um, so thanks, and thanks for all the support. Um, from when Megan uh, mentioned it in our other video. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was screenshotting all the nice comments and sending them to her. And then, how does your mom feel about you moving to New York? Much love from Ellensburg, Washington. Um, I'm, I'm good with it. Um, I'm excited for them to try something different. Plus, I feel, um, you know, a little bit more secure because my whole family's back there. So if they ever needed something, you know, they uh -huh. have family. So. I'm happy with it, you know? We'll see how it goes. It's going to be a great adventure for them. Yeah, I'm just mostly excited. But it's going to be hard at the same time to, like, not be by you. Yeah. That's I'll probably cry a lot. Mm -hmm. well, I'll fly back a lot. I'll um, probably pay for it. her to fly out, too. You probably will have to. <laughs> you want to pick one? Sure. <laughs> that way I can eat for a minute. 
I, I know you're acting like I'm only back from eating. Okay, that's all time you're fucking blabbing about me. <laughs> well, this is a good question, I guess. What is the craziest thing that I've done that you know of? Because I'm sure there's stuff that you wouldn't know about, but. <laughs> like, what do they mean by crazy? Just like, I guess, anything that you might hear about and be like, oh my god, my daughter did that. Oh. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't haven't really done that much crazy stuff. No, she's a good kid. I mean... Well, like, I mean, growing up, I, like, never got in trouble or anything. No. Or, like... Not anything big. Yeah. This is a good one. <laughs> it's kind of bad for me. I don't really know why I'm asking it, but... <laughs> if you could know the absolute and total truth to one question, what question would you ask me? <sighs> What's the worst thing you've ever done that I don't know about? <laughs> Um, and go. Oh, okay, well, there's this one time. <laughs> I can't Are believe it. No, yeah. I'm just like, I can't believe I'm gonna tell you this. Um, so, you know, when I was dating, when I was dating my ex-boyfriend mm -hmm. in high school, when we were dating, mm -hmm. I'm like actually nervous to tell him this. <laughs> okay, so when we were dating in high school and he didn't have a car at the time, and so I would always like pick him up from stuff, and mm -hmm. so... One time, he needed me to pick him up from the Federal Way Transit Center. Okay. And I'm I don't I forget what I told you I was doing because I mean you you never really liked him, right? Yeah. So like I even in high school I like didn't really she never liked him so I like never made it clear that we were dating or whatever. And so I picked him up from the Federal Way Transit Center and then he spent the night at our house. Where was I? Sleeping. No and then, way. and then, yeah, and so then I was, like, frazzled, and so when I, um, like, opened the door, I left my keys in the door, and so I, pu I pushed my bed in front of the door so that no one could open the door, just in case, and then <laughs> Dad found my keys in the door and tried, like, opening the door, my bed was there, and so he had to, had to like, hide in the corner. No way. And Dad, like, yeah. Dad came into the room? He, like, I, like, peeked open the door acting like I was, like, sleeping or whatever. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Well, at least he had a safe place to sleep. Yeah. I'm not mad. Yeah, not mad? No, no. Yeah, that's probably, like, the one thing that I've done that you wouldn't... Because you know about, like, all my story times and stuff. Yeah. So, much. like, all that kind of stuff she knows about. Yeah. But yeah, that'd be, like, the one thing I guess I've never told her. God, it feels good to get it off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Advice on raising educated, respectful, independent daughters. Like, what would you have as parenting advice? Um... Let's see. You know what? It probably started when they were little. Nice. Obviously, I taught her how to be educated, but not eat nicely. <laughs> I'm your educate. Viola, darling. Huh? Remember, chew like you have a secret. <laughs> I failed there. <laughs> Um, you know, I put a, well, her dad and I put a huge emphasis on education mm -hmm. uh, because I did not go to college and I realized how, um, how many <clears throat> things it held me back from doing. Um, dad didn't go to college either, right? Or he dropped out? He didn't go. He went into the Marine Corps. Right. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that was kind of a priority. I wanted them to have better than what I had. Oh. Yeah. Independence, you know, um. That's hard, that's hard to describe. Um, I probably wasn't the best example. Teacher, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cut you off. So my camera just died when I was answering the question, but I feel like what helped was just me and Sarah growing up together, mm -hmm. you know? Like, I, I feel like that helped me be independent because having someone so close to you that you feel like would always be there for you then you don't like I would never waste my time spending time with anyone who wasn't like that that's true so that's true that help me that's what helped me be like independent otherwise I don't know like what I would be like yeah that's true what was your favorite food to make for me and Sarah when we were younger well I didn't have any choice because <laughs> they kind of ganged up on me like most of the time <laughs> um so it was usually much pretty much macaroni and cheese and chicken nuggets uh -huh. um Pretty much. Right? Not any chicken nuggets, but, but 
That's true. The dino, dino nuggets. Mm -hmm. Dino nuggets. And actually, one of my favorite things to make was um, Friday, we would make muffin pizza. Oh, yeah. Every, every Friday. Every Friday. So, English muffins yep. and then... And this pizza sauce and cheese, and mm -hmm. yeah, then we'd watch a movie together. Yeah, that's so true. We yeah. used to do that every Friday. Yeah. Or sometimes we'd have Tostino's pizza. Or that's Totino's. True. Yeah, Totino's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, how can I? I'm neglecting the original glaze, which I think is the best. It says, Has your mom made up her mind about moving to New York with you guys? Um, uh, I actually haven't. I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm going to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm just taking life one day at a time, literally. Um, so yeah, because she looked just, you just moved into your new right, place. Yeah. Right, so I'm just trying to figure things out, get myself in a good place, so um, then I'll decide. Uh -huh. Can't wait, I love your mom. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> uh, she's so sweet. Does your mom hold bad feelings for your dad? No, I don't. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any bad feelings towards him at all. It just, I just couldn't live with him anymore. That's all. Yeah. Before you moved out, did you have any more run-ins with your crazy neighbors? Oh my God. The, uh, I called them the Johnsons, I think, in a story time. You know the crazy neighbors? Did you have any more run-ins with her after that? Or them? No. Uh -uh. No. The Johnsons. That's funny. It was like the story where... They like called the cops on dad or whatever, and then the police came and were like, had their guns drawn on him. Fun times. <laughs> Excellent neighborhood. Uh -huh. um, this is yours. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how would you say you and your mom's relationship is ten being the best? I would say a two. A two. <laughs> Not even a two. I would go with like. Mo and most of the time, it's like a zero. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, well, especially now that, because it wasn't like I resented you at all or anything like that, but I feel like since you've left dad, you've been a lot more independent in, like, yourself. Mm -hmm. This is, like, how I remember you being. Okay. That makes sense. And I feel like for a while, you kind of lost that. Not in a bad way, mm -hmm. but, like, I feel like a lot closer to you now. Yeah. Love you. I love too. You should tell them about the Valentine gifts. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, like... How close are we? So for val like Valentine's, I gave my mom her Valentine's gift today. And her and my sister have really been wanting to go to this crab pot restaurant. Yeah, what they do is um, <coughs> it's all seafood, of course, but they dump it on the table. Mm -hmm. And so there's no plates and you kind of just eat with your hands. So it's oh, kind of a cool, no, oh. so it's kind of a cool atmosphere, something yeah. different. I didn't know that. That's uh -huh. cool. So yeah, she's been wanting to do that. And for... Valentine's I got her a gift card there for dinner and then I put it in a card I'll actually insert my story because I posted it to my story the picture of the cards We got each other the same because obviously hers is for daughter and mine is for mother But it's like the same card mm -hmm. just like different perspectives I guess mm -hmm. of their relationship and then I we also got the same gift because she Printed out um the menu or like yeah. the options they had for the crab pot and was like me you and Sarah go together sometime I know and that's funny so I was like, I was like, when I first saw it, I was like, no, because I thought she paid for it already. I was like, you're going to have, you're going to need to like take a date out to go the crowd. Go twice. Yeah. <laughs> have to go twice. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. Me too. Should be fun. Maybe I'll vlog it. Okay. I have to vlog more. Yeah. Especially because of the way, the, you know, they just dump it out and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, It'll be interesting. Kind of fun to see. You can film me, um, struggling to eat crab. Okay. <laughs> No. I don't know why this made me laugh. How does it feel to have a daughter that eats a lot? <laughs> well. <laughs> Is it alarming? Like, do you feel, are you surprised at all? No. Yeah. I grew up with you. I mean, you grew up with, uh, under my watch. <laughs> Look, no, I'm thinking about, okay, thinking about the stuff that I used to eat as a child, I think I used to consume, like, three to 4,000 calories a mm -hmm. day. Easily. She ate a lot. Like, and she was always hungry. Always hungry. I was always chubby, but I should have been way bigger uh -huh. for how much I ate. For breakfast, I used to have Rice Krispies, cereal, and then what I used to do, because fat kid tricks, <laughs> <laughs> you, um, I'm, you melt peanut butter in the bottom of a bowl and then pour rice, like in the microwave, then you pour the Rice Krispies cereal over it, stir everything up so it's like peanut butter coated Rice Krispies, 
and then pour milk in it. But I also did, I actually, my favorite was Cocoa Krispies. So I used to do that with That's peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I used to have like, like a Reese's. Three bowls of that mm -hmm. in the morning. Easily. Easily. <laughs> and then for dinner, like how many muffin pizzas would I eat? A lot. Like six or seven? Like for two, for three of us to eat, I would probably do two packs of English muffins. If you think about it, you cut it in half, so that's 24 little mini pizzas. Right. With, che with cheese. <laughs> with cheese. And, mm -hmm. But no, now she, she watches it though. During the week, she well, watches yeah. it. She's I mean, there's good. no way I could eat like this all the time. Um, and then she does this once a week to get it out of her system. <laughs> Which actually works. Like, I used to be so restrictive because, mm -hmm. like, Too after much. being overweight. Yeah, so I used to be, like, so restrictive. And I know a lot of people say that this is, like, a glorified binge. But to mm -hmm. me, it's, like, the most control I've ever felt over my eating. So, <sighs> let's see. You want to do, like, two more? Sure. Two more? Yeah. Okay. What is your perception on eating disorders slash have you had me? I guess I, I did. Even, you did? I wouldn't yeah. even know this about you. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Um wasn't bulimia. I just, I didn't eat. Like, oh, you know. did you throw up? No. Oh. No, it but I just yet? would not eat. Yeah. Because yeah. I wanted to fit into a certain size jeans when clearly my body type isn't that size. Yeah. Well, I mean, her butt is so big that you're, you'll <laughs> never fit. Like, I'm not even saying it in a mean way anymore. You have a big butt. It's a good thing. <laughs> but I tried. I really tried. So I just actually gave up eating. I think I would eat, like, maybe an apple a day. Really? Yeah. To the point where one day I was, my mom was on my case, you better eat, you better eat, you better eat. And I was standing in the kitchen talking to her about whatever, I don't know, and I just passed out. Oh, wow. I literally hit the floor. How old were you? That's 17, 17 ish, maybe? 18, did, somewhere around there. Did you ever look like you suffered from it? I don't know if I was ever, thin. But, but it was like. Yeah, it was, I looked like everybody else, but. Clearly, my body's not meant to be like that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you have to starve yourself to look like that, right. it's not yeah. right. So, that's sad. Yeah, it yeah. is what it is. Everybody goes through their thing, right? It's nice that I didn't know your mom was like that present. Because I would sit at the table and not eat. Oh, right, because we would have all dinner together. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. Or yeah. I'd push the food around to yeah. make it look like. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's interesting. What is the worst punishment you ever received as a kid? Or maybe they're asking me. Yeah, what is, yeah. What did I ever do to you? It was never my mom, though. If I felt like the punishment did, didn't fit my crime, it was always my dad. Like, I never felt like you were. Yeah, I think the only thing I would make them do, if they misbehaved was, and they hated this, is I'd make them sit in the middle of the living room floor. Oh, right. So literally, there's nothing around them to touch or look at. Just sit there and kind of think about... <laughs> What you think about what you did. Yeah, think about what have yeah. been a, would have been a better choice. Mm -hmm. right? Sarah and I never really got in trouble or anything, so. Mm -hmm. No. I have a good question for you. I have one question that, because I thought of some questions that I was like, well, if you don't have anything to talk about, I want to ask. Oh. And the only thing that I want to ask is uh -huh. like, when I was growing up, what did you think I was going to be like? If you saw me in the future, did you think I'd be like how I am today or no? I never anticipated this. Oh, like the, the yeah. YouTuber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I never saw you in front of a camera. Right? Ever. Well, that's why I hate, like, I like this kind of filming, but, like, that's why I don't vlog, because I'm, like... It's actually very quiet. Yeah. Um, so I never would have dreamed this. Yeah. Um, you know, I really thought... Um, I think I go to, like, some Ivy League school. Yeah, I thought you would, like, go towards being an attorney or a teacher, because mm -hmm. you're good with little kids. Um, yeah. I kind of thought that that's the way you would go. Love you. Love you too. I would kiss you, but I know I, mean, I want that lipstick, lipstick and sprinkles and yeah, glaze sprinkles and be okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you enjoyed having my mom here for a mukbang? Yeah. Thank did you, you enjoy being here? I did. Eventually, we're gonna do another candy mm -hmm. candy video. Eventually, do another candy on yeah. her like cheat day type stuff. Right, right. Right. And I think I could probably do that in a couple of months. A couple months. See what the doctor says. But yeah. Bye.